This is the game for you if you like dark players called Ryan. It's Searle, the man on your left called Heavy Metal, up against Ryan Joyce of Newcastle. This could be very good indeed. And we are privileged to have the number five seed on this board this afternoon up against Ryan Joyce, who finished in position 28 in the Players' Championship Order of Merit coming into this. These two are in form, and it could be the game of the afternoon. But we said that about a game yesterday. That turned out to be complete and utter toilet. But this one, I firmly believe Dan Dawson will not be that. Well, I hope so. Ryan so one of the most exciting players in the world of darts this year. I don't think that's a controversial statement at all. That's the reason that he's seeded number five here. I think a lot of people will be looking at him as a dark horse for a very deep run at the World Championship. But more importantly, you know, he wants to he wants to go and do something at a big TV event. It doesn't have to be the world. Could well be here. He has got the game to win this game title. Make no mistake. If you haven't seen what he's been doing over the course of the year, and PDC TV subscribers probably <laughs> will have, we've seen him averaging hundred and teens repeatedly, not just a one off. He's, got a, he's broken his own personal best in terms of high averages three times this year, I think, in quite quick succession. 134. Wow. If you're a PDC TV subscriber, of course, you've been getting your priority access to tickets for the Masters in Milton Keynes at the end of January. 55. Well, tickets go on general sale on Monday. So if you want to see... Is it the top 24 in the world again? I don't no, know what they're doing, doing, whether they're reversing the Steen or whether they're keeping the 24 after the Johnny Clayton success. Yeah, I mean, it is going to be the best players in the world. How, how many of them there are, I'm not sure yet. And it will be the first opportunity Easy. to see the newly crowned world champion, whoever that may be. Yeah. We shall see. Could it be Ryan Searle? Imagine. Imagine. 96. If he wins the world title... I think Gibson will have to get him a World Championship branded guitar. I think if he wins a world title, he can have whatever he wants. He can have a very big tax bill. True. Better having a big tax bill than working as a window cleaner, which is what he used to do back in the day. He's uh, staying at home this weekend, Ryan Searle, just travelling down about 40 minutes to get from his 96. place in Hokum Rogus, Devon. Is that the name of the place where he lives? Yeah, Little Village. Holcomb Rogus. Holcomb Rogus, yeah. There's about, it's about 50 people who live there. Sounds nice. Double 16 for Ryan Joyce. His favourite double. And he's one of the best at it. 1 0 lead and a break of throw to start against a fairly cold Ryan Searle, who. Didn't play particularly well yesterday against Simon Whitlock, but did just about enough. Yeah, it was a last leg decider win in the mid-80s average, and I'll be honest, you can count on the fingers of one eight. hand the number of times that Ryan Searle has posted those kinds of numbers this year. Because he does this an awful lot. One an awful lot. <laughs> As you said at the top of the show, Dan, we've got six players' championship winners on this board this afternoon 60 and they amassed a total of 10 wins just the one for Ryan Searle this year but of course he did win one last year as well so he's on a two-year streak of winning you just wonder what's next well that's it you know if you can pick up titles you know, even if it's just one a year and you do that for three or four years, that's something 100. you can build on you're maintaining you're moving up the rankings or at least maintaining your position I mean, let me tell you a little story about a guy who used to pick up one title a year, and only one title a year. And then all of a sudden, that little ferret became the all-conquering machine that is dominating the world of darts this year. For some reason, I thought you were going to start talking about Andy Smith. No, no, no. He always, won, he always won his birthday in Benidorm, didn't he? It always seemed to happen. But yeah, Johnny Clayton picked up one title a year, five years running, and then this year he went mental and picked up everything. I want one of those Johnny Clayton branded vacuum cleaners because yeah, they seem to be taking things very well. 
I'm not entirely sure what Ryan so Searle had left there. But George Noble says it was the Game right on. shot, and I agree. Yeah. He was looking at treble 20 for double 19, but slipping into the treble 1 left him treble 19 for double 19. So he got to the double he was aiming for in the end. Ryan Searle won this year and last year, like I mentioned. And Ryan Joyce 58. won last year at the Summer Series. And he did an interview with you after he won that. And he was already talking about trying to get the second within minutes, wasn't he? Yeah, it was Five. surprising to see somebody talk so sort of downplay their, their own achievement. Ryan Searle just acknowledging to the fans there that it did not go according to plan. 60. You do wonder sometimes with Ryan when he has a visit, if he's a surprise, more surprised than anybody what the ref's going to call. We, he can't see it. He doesn't know. So many times he thinks he's hit the one segment and he's actually in the treble 20. He has to check so often with the the markers and the refs where the darts are landing. He might have thought it was a really good visit until he got the score of five called. Yeah, there was an article that Ooh, came out this three. week on Twitter talking about the person he goes to see about his eyes. They're not entirely sure how he does this. Yes, Phil Haig in the Metro writing about him. Um, very good sports writer. Fifth Check him out. But yeah, Ryan Searle, it is astonishing what he's able to do despite having such dreadful eyesight. That's Eight. really unlucky. Really unfortunate. There. Even an extra 20 points would have made a difference, but that was in the 60. That's in the 60. Oh, a small 84. five at the end. Ryan, you require 140. And it does make a difference, Dan. 100. 20 on the Ryan floor. 61. But getting the small five, does that make a difference on this shot for Ryan Joyce? It's going to be one dart. Uh, you guessed it. And there he's it is again. Uh, he's deadly Joyce. down there. He owns that part of the ball. Ryan Joyce well, Ryan Joyce, first. very much a double Game 16 on. man. And as we said yesterday, Chris Doby calls him the best double hitter in the world. He genuinely believes that. Ryan Searle, this year, has been one of 60. the very best hitters of double top. In fact, I think it was Darts Oracle put out a stat saying that over the last year or so, nobody is more likely to take Easy. out 120 in the world than that man right there. Not James Wade, not Gerwin Price, who are very much based on treble 20 and hitting tops. Ryan Searle is more likely than anyone to take out a Shanghai finish of 120. Because that's what his game is built upon. Big scoring and hitting double top. When Ryan Searle had that 116 Easy. average in a semi-final earlier this year, his double top shooting in that match was ridiculous. I think he was immaculate. I don't think he missed it. But he, he does go through those, I suppose. It's a bit like Gerwin Price. In that respect, you know, once he gets his range on double top, and he can do that from the very first attempt, then it's very difficult to, to shake him off it. 58. I just wonder if ignorance is bliss when it comes to his eyesight. Whether it just takes away the pressure. I can't see it, but I'll throw it towards it anyway. I'll just go with the God-given talent I've got. And he's a field player, isn't he? He's, he's... Yes, I know he lines the dart up, but it's 66. very much Ryan a sort of loose motion. He's not really... Not like, say, Ryan Joyce. Ryan Joyce is sort of almost holding it and or, like a crosshair lining up with where he's going to throw. 42. So is not playing at his optimum level. 59. So he's in scrappy mode Ryan once again, like he was yesterday. 14. At times, Ryan Joyce was very good against Luke Woodhouse yesterday. He was the better player, but he was assisted by some errors by Luke Woodhouse. Yeah, kind of got away with it, didn't he? Luke Woodhouse I think, darts for 5-3, a number of them. Missed them all, and then Ryan Joyce turned the game around at the minute. Ryan Searle is throwing at the sort of level we saw yesterday from him against Simon Whitlock. You keep playing like that, you are going to get beaten sooner or later. Are you sure the Ryan Joyce. Double 16 for the neighbour. Comes calling for 3-1 for Joyce. And 
This is another tasty part of the draw because 60. as we whittle the field down, we start to see the possibility of some heavyweight contests. And the winner of this one takes on the winner of Cross and Aspinall. Yeah, I mean, that, is, that was always destined to be on the main stage, wasn't it? That's Rob. currently Rob Cross 4, Aspinall 1. I didn't even realise it started. 125. I care so little about the main stage action because it's all about Red's bar. But yeah, Rob Cross averaging almost 105. Not bad. Voltage. 95. Interestingly, Ryan Searle, if he does turn this around and win, it'll be the first time he's ever beaten Ryan Joyce. 100. It's 3-0 in Joyce's favour, which is surprising. It might not be surprising if they, those results were, say, all from two or three years ago. But Easy. they're not. There's some um, there's some recent ones in there, and that's when Ryan so you know the last eighteen months or so. Well, no, two years. Let's to be fair to him, he really has established himself as a a very dangerous player. I mean, the stuff he's playing at the World Grand Prix was absolutely remarkable. Ryan so I have no idea how that come between the sixty in that corner. Maybe Ryan Joyce doesn't even know. With 12. Oh, it's double 13. And that's the first missed double in this match. Only require 86. If Joyce gets the 54, it's going to be 4 1. Well, he has got the 54. And it is 4 1. Ryan Joyce. Well, Ryan Joyce underlining how deadly he Two is flag, on the double. And he has the darts looking Game for 5 1 here, and things are looking rather bleak for the number 5 seed. Rob Cross and Nathan Aspinall fighting out to face the winner of this one. It is in the same quarter of the draw as James Wade, who's already beaten Callan Rids, and Michael Smith versus Daryl Gurney, which is the game that will 16. follow this one. So we're going to have the last 16, the third round, set up very, very shortly in this section of the draw. It will be James Wade. It looks 100. like it'll be Rob Cross. It looks like it may be Ryan Joyce. And then one of Michael Smith and Daryl Gurney. Take your pick out of that. Particularly with the way that Joyce is 100. finishing here. And with some of the, the stuff he threw at the Grand Slam, he might surprise a few people. Well, what pressure's on Ryan Joyce? Yes, he's in form. 84. But you would expect Cross to cement his place in the next round with a 4-1 scoreline against Aspinall currently. And he's up against one of the top seeds here. So he can play and think to himself, well, there's no pressure on me. And I can sympathise with that because in every single game I played when I won this tournament, 60. I was the underdog. Every single match. Easy one. Oh, it's enough to get to a finish, but Ryan Searle really hasn't brought the scoring power that's really seen him rocket up the world rankings. We've not seen it at all this weekend from him. 1140, 1180 in this, the sixth leg. Can he stick another in there? No, he can't. 92. On your corner, 36. Four from four on the outer ring. Five from five now. This is as good as it gets in finishing. Relentless? You betcha. It is relentless. 100% on doubles. He's still only averaging 90. Because he hasn't brought the sort of scoring power that's going to worry anybody. We said this within two minutes of him getting on the stage yesterday. For his game with Luke Woodhouse. He isn't a big scorer compared to the heavy hitters in PDC darts. But if you finish, if you just you know, sniffle out those chances, it doesn't matter. Because you get one dart or the double and you take it. Fine. Ryan Searle is not even oh, getting is chances. He only had two sir. darts at double in this entire game. That's better though. No show of emotion from Ryan Searle. Will we get any if he takes 96 out? He's not under a massive amount of pressure to do so. 58. Ryan, this is where the fight back has to start. Fifty-six. 
Well, the one thing you can say that a lot of these field players, a lot of these quick players, they can go into little spells where they do go mad. Ryan Searle is the sort of player that could just have a little five-minute spell here where it's Ryan almost exclusively ton 80s and ton 40s. And he does manage to get a second leg, but he has to have one of those spells right now because Ryan Joyce does not look like he's going to miss if he gets a chance at a double. So the only option for Ryan Searle is don't let him have a chance. Joyce is not scoring particularly well. So there is a chance for Ryan Searle to do that. If he can just play his normal game, more of that, more of that. Now then... This game might be changing. It is still a huge ask for Ryan Searle. But Ryan Joyce is not unbeatable in this form. 100. Yeah, well said, Dan, because the way that this game has panned out, Ryan Searle just can't afford to allow Ryan Joyce one more shot at a double. You figure if he does, game set and match to Joyce but Searle has set his stall out now by scoring much heavier over the last two legs if he goes on a blitz here Joyce may feel a bit dizzy in about five minutes time well Ryan Joyce is missing his targets by a long way in this leg I know he's picked up a treble there 16 for tops Oh, well, that's silly. It's not a fatal error. 36. Because he will come back and look at top. So he will feel... He'll feel like this game is very winnable. If this double top goes, he hasn't hit it in this match. And it is one of his most dangerous weapons. Look how far he's missing the trebles by Ryan Joyce. 96. Ryan, you require 40. I think it's going to be 5-3. Double 10 again. He stopped because there was a groan in Red's bar there. But this is a chance for Ryan Joyce to stop the comeback right here. 60 and Bull, the only avenue left. Bullseye. First miss of the double in the match. Oh, well, he's going to get more match starts Ryan, here because Ryan so even he can see that, is in the big fat 20 and he shakes his head because he's going out of the tournament because Ryan Joyce is not missing this. Oh, no oh, oh my word, how's he done that? Ryan, you require five. He's so good at double 16, he hits it even when he doesn't need it. And boy, oh boy, it's double one, one, double one. And it's <laughs> in! <laughs> it's comical. Ryan, it's completely <laughs> comical. And one of the markers, Tristan, can't help but laugh, <laughs> and neither can I. What a ridiculous passage of play. Ryan Searle busts five first dart with a massive fat 20. Ryan Joyce, who cannot miss on double eight and double 16, puts it bang in the middle of double 16 when he wants a double eight. And then Ryan Searle somehow goes double one, one, double one. Absolute nonsense no, here on stage so. two. But it means the game is still alive. And the one thing that that missed dart at double eight from Ryan Joyce does illustrate is over the last two legs, he has missed some of his targets by an inch, more than an inch. His radar is completely on the wonk. Look, he's so high. And he can't adjust. Uh, the last dart saves him. He's only really picking off trebles on the last dart, if at all, at the minute. He's got a problem as well. And his opponent is starting to find more in the way of trebles. Joyce is going to have to steer with an opponent that is a bigger scorer than him. No, when he's not playing well. And yet again, it's a last dart treble that keeps him in the leg, but only just. 83. How much he would covet. I won't need to hear. He's got one in the match. But again, it's got to be last dart. Nine and yes, again, he finds it. He is clinging on by his fingernails at the minute, Ryan Joyce. Just trying to get to another match dart. And Ryan Searle cannot hit double top. Can he get another match dart? 
A last dart treble's not good enough. A second dart treble is. Eight. And he finally misses double 16. Oh, you require 20. Double 10. He's in the double five, and the comeback is on. And the crowd here at Red Spot are getting a bit more volume going with their hands. Because Joyce is in trouble. He really is. And again, it's the miss high. And then a last dart treble, just about. Ryan Searle, one good scoring leg here. And if he could pin double top at the end of it. I think Ryan Searle is now favourite for this match. Unbelievably from 5-1 down. Having survived three match darts already. Should have been another match dart. But Ryan Joyce busts his score. But he's 58. gone to pieces for no reason, Ryan Joyce. There was a little hum in reds 100. right there when that fourth treble 20 was found. But it's still a lead of 126. And he's starting 19's first here. And again, look how far away he is. 57. I do, I do not understand. I know he's not scored well all game, but as soon as Ryan Searle has put any kind of pressure on him, he is wilted. 125. I'm with you, Dan. I think that Searle is the favourite for the match now. Needs another. 100. Doesn't get one. And Searle has got a two dart. At six darts for this. Double 18. And he's playing he's beautifully play. now. And he has the darts in the last leg of the contest. He's won four straight. And he now needs a fifth to get through to play against Rob Cross. Somebody he graduated with from the Challenge Tour. Yeah, the top two on the Challenge Tour order of merit that year when Rob Cross first appeared in PDC Darts here in Minehead at the UK Open. Then went and played the Challenge Tour. He and Ryan Searle came through. But Ryan Joyce may not be done just yet. Now that he is behind the eight ball, maybe he can free himself up. Maybe he will loosen up a little bit. Because all of a sudden, he's got the darts. A ridiculous match, this. I can see from experience that it's a horrible situation to find yourself in. I was 5-0 up on this stage once and only just won 6-5. After surviving a number of match darts. Yeah, yeah, in the last leg. That was my target heart rate for the day. 81. But this is where you just want to get the job done. You don't want to have to go all the way back up numerous motorways to Newcastle thinking, how did I lose that match? Well, he didn't want to move from the 20s. He reluctantly did down to the 19s and he picks off the treble. So the gamble worked. Again. And the pressure has been put on Ryan Joyce. I'm sorry to say he's not responded. He's managed to go through this game and pick up legs when the quality has been poor. But whenever oh, Ryan Searle has thrown something at him, it, it's just it's like it stunned him, Ryan Joyce. If he doesn't get a treble, he is going to lose this game because I do not see Ryan Searle not getting 1-4-6-6. 21 off leaves 1-2-5. Should he have gone bullseye next start? Yes. I think that's an error. But he does save it really well. He has not hit double top all game. It is one of the biggest weapons in his arsenal, Ryan. So, but he's going to come back, throw it in the big nine. And Ryan Joyce, has, Ryan, you require 49. he's just not been able to fight back. It's been bizarre. Nine. Ryan, you require Match starts missed by Ryan Searle. And Ryan Joyce could yet could yet do something ridiculous. Oh, dear, he has. There's the four. And that's about as kind as I can be because... 73. He really has let this slip. Ryan Searle comes back for tops. Double ten. And Winston. he's now missed five match darts. Ryan, and Joyce 81. can do exactly what Willie O'Connor did to his mate Doby yesterday and absolutely steal it away. He had two darts to win this, 6-2. Oh, and he's had another one to win it, 6-5 and missed. Ryan Searle, can he finally get over the line? Can anybody get over the line? 
He can! And Ryan Searle, for the second game running, wins a game in a last leg decider when he probably should have lost. Simon Whitlock missed the chance. Ryan Joyce missed a load of chances. He could not stop hitting doubles at the start of the match, Joyce. He could not hit any towards the end. And heavy metal Ryan Searle, the number five seed, will take on Rob Cross, the European champion. And I'm not sure even he knows how he's come through that one.